boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to make your tessellation shape using the part to trap method. The first step is writing part in the corner of your square. So I'm going to write P in the top corner, A, R, and T. So you should be able to read it like this. Or if it's facing you, it's going to look like this. The next step is to draw two lines. One line should go from top to bottom. One line should go from left to right on your square. You can use a curvy lines or zigzag lines, whatever you'd like, just don't go too far to the corner. I'm gonna draw a curvy line here, and then I'm gonna draw one across. Let's add some zigzags and a curve. After you draw those two lines, the next step is to cut along those two lines. And you will end up with four pieces of your paper. So I'm going to cut very slowly, turning my paper as I cut. I'm really holding my scissors right in front of me and my paper is what's turning. I'm going to curve it as I'm slowly closing my scissors. And if it's not exactly on the line, that's okay. You just don't want to cut pieces off. There's my other curve. So I have two pieces, and I will cut my last piece. Ooh, if you're a little off, that's okay. So now I have my four pieces that have letters on them. The next step is to arrange them so they say trap. So I'm going to match those two up and these two. So it should say T-R-A-P. The goal is to match up the flat edges so that they are in line with each other. So this takes some time. You might need to have a partner help you. Put some tape over it. And then I'm going to match up so there's a cross in the middle. We'll just do one side at a time and we'll do the last side. So they match up exactly in the center. So I have my trap, now it says, in the middle. And this is your shape that will actually tessellate when we trace it so it will fit inside of the other shapes. The next step is to take your big piece of paper. Of course, you write your name in the corner. And if I start, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. If I place it down, I'm gonna make sure my line here is parallel with the edge of my paper so I can match it up there and then slide it down. I'm just going to start in the middle. It doesn't matter too much. And you're going to trace around your shape very carefully. This is the most important part to ensure that you make your shape line up. Trace around it. Take your time on this. And trace pretty lightly. You don't need to go really dark. So I traced, oh, the good thing is if I miss something, I can match it back up and retrace that. So I trace my shape. If you slide it over, you will find that it matches up perfectly with the shape next to it. So I don't have to trace this line here because it's already there. Because it tessellates, it fits together. So I'm going to trace it again. One thing that can help you is if you take a little bit of masking tape, you can tape your shape in place. Sometimes that helps people, sometimes it doesn't. So whatever works for you, just make sure it matches up. And I'm going to trace my next shape. Very carefully. So 
I don't have to do this whole side. When I peel that off, it fits together. You'll see that if you put it on the top, it fits together on there. So you might want to finish off, off the edge of your paper as well once you get your rows traced. I'm going to keep on working my way across tracing and then when I move down to my next my next line I'll find where it fits together like a puzzle as well. It is so important to be careful about where you place your shapes. You don't want them to be off at all. You want the lines to match up as perfectly as possible. This is the first step in making our tessellations. After you make your tessellating shape, you're going to trace it all over your piece of paper very carefully. Just like this, so it will be like a puzzle.